Good evening, sleepwalkers. Welcome to Christmas Eve. You can see the dreamscape is a little bit different now. Everybody grab your blankets, snuggle in, because your dark god of sleep is going to read you a story. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon was abreast on the new fallen snow, gave a glistener of midday on objects below. And what to my wandering eye does appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid in eagles his course they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the housetop, the courser they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. Then, in a twinkle, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks like a rose, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me the know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, and turned like a jerk. And laying his fingers alongside his nose, he gave a nod, and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sled, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim, ere he rode out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.